So we're here at the Linaro Connect, and uh, hi, so who are you? I'm Larry Wakilius, and I'm in charge of all of our partner and software enablement at Marvell. And uh, right here, this is a Thunder X2 a dual socket desktop right here. So what is this? So this is a workstation that is based on Thunder X2, which is our server processor that is based on the ARM V8 architecture. It is the leading ARM server processor in the market uh, and supports both single and dual socket configurations. And in this particular case, we now are delivering a workstation for developers to expand the development opportunities for developing ARM on, yeah. on our platform. So uh, right here, um, this is a super, very, very high performance ARM desktop, maybe the highest performance that's out there. Yeah, really what you're seeing is a uh, silicon implementation that's uh, being deployed today in yeah. some of the most demanding compute environments like Sandia Astro System now available on desktop. So this particular implementation is dual socket and supports up to a terabyte of memory. And uh, you can have it upright standing or like this? And yeah, the, typically you'll see it upright. We're just making it uh, on its side so you can see the uh, physical part of the board a little bit easier. So it's working? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you can see uh, we're, we're running off the system here. Naresh is part of our uh, Lenaro team, uh, and we've got uh, you know just a web web page up here. But uh, various applications are uh, fully available and, and supported. So let me let me uh, decide. So who are you? Uh, I'm Naresh, uh, working as a Lenaro assignee from KVM and uh, uh, Marvel. So uh, right now you're running a. Yeah. What are you doing right here? I'm just uh, playing yeah, the video. Close it to Mike. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, I, I'm just playing a video. Uh, it has got a NVIDIA graphics card and uh, uh, I'm just trying to compile some stuff uh, with uh, 224 threads. Uh, Can you show how many cores and stuff or threads? Yes. Um, so what is it saying here? Uh, it's uh, uh, per socket, uh, 32, uh, like uh, uh, CPUs are there, yeah. So it, it, it gives the CPU all, all details, actually. So uh, there's a dual 32 core, right? Correct. Uh, dual 32 core, up to a terabyte of RAM? Correct. Um, there's uh, all the specs are right here. Correct. Uh, let's try to get, so, um, very high performance. You can also have a NVMe, anything. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very rich configuration, uh, both physically and then from a software standpoint. Uh, it adheres to industry standards uh, for both firmware and boot, what's called the uh, SPSA standards for ARM, as well as uh, standard Linux uh, distribution availability, uh, whether it's CentOS, Ubuntu, a uh, variety of Linux distributions. So uh, what's the hopeful availability and price? Is there availability starting now? Yeah, so Phoenix uh, is our distribution partner, and that's the company that you can go directly to for orders. And from a pricing standpoint, you're going to see this as a comparable uh, workstation for other workstations in, in the market at a similar performance and uh, memory configuration level. So kind of similar to an Intel Xeon uh, but it's, it's uh, what do you call it, uh, prototyping, it's kind of a prototype. So, well, no, not a pro prototype, but uh, you know, it's not a full mass production. It depends on volume, right? It really depends on volume, but uh, the, the Thunder X2 chip is fully generally available and uh, fully released by uh, Kiavi Marvel. And uh, the Thunder X2 is the best ARM processor in the world right now, available? Well, we, we have published a lot of benchmarks, and what you're seeing is very good performance, whether it's uh, base compute, uh, scalability, uh, both memory throughput and capacity. So we're, we're really uh, we're leading in a lot of key benchmarks. And who's, uh, who's going to be the customer for this kind of product right here? A lot of the interest for the workstation are actual ARM developers. Uh, so uh, whether it's uh, developers within Lenaro, within other organizations who are developing ARM-based code, now they can develop their software for uh, ARM architecture on an actual ARM system. Uh, but, and then they can plug in a GPU? 
So there's a, a range of um, physical devices. This is standard PCIe, uh, uh, either by eight or by sixteen. So just depending upon what devices you have, and and um, you know whether it's storage or or other elements, we've we've got that capability.